Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today, I am outside of Walmart and today is going to be a back to school video. Now, even if you're not going back to school, if you're already out of high school, middle school, all that stuff, don't worry, stay tuned. I'm pretty sure you're still going to enjoy this video. So we're gonna go inside of Walmart and I'm going to show you guys all of my favorite drugstore products that I genuinely love and I highly recommend, but everything is super inexpensive and you're still going to look snatched, all right? So before you get this video started don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and if you guys have any video suggestions for back to school drop them down below in the comment section and let's go ahead and let's get started so we're gonna get started with a flower beauty so flower has some really good blushes especially this one I don't know about you guys but I like a blush that is kind of like a peachy color it's just personal preference but I really like this one which is a peach primrose and this one's $8.98 they're very like buildable like you can build it up like first if you're not really into blush you can just put a little bit and then if you really like blush you can just build it up to have better pigmentation but I really really like these blushes highly recommend them okay now Milani has really good lipsticks like really good lipsticks these are only $4.97 guys and they're super inexpensive me personally I love the matte lipsticks they're really pretty really pigmented really long lasting and I really like them because you can literally throw them in your purse or your backpack and you can basically take them anywhere with you now Milani has really good blushes as well this was like one of the first blushes that I bought and I really like them first of all I really like that they're in the shape of a flower but I really like them because they feel like very kind of like a buttery so I really like them they're pretty pigmented as well these are $6.97 these are a little bit more inexpensive than the flower ones so if you're more a little bit more on a budget I still really like these this foundation this one is the Milani conceal and perfect foundation is nine bucks oh my god one of my favorite foundations I really like it um, it's pretty full coverage this one is good for like if you have like combo skin and not so much oily if you have oily skin this will probably make you a little bit more oily so probably combo skin um, if you're not familiar with combo skin means they're like in between dry not too dry but not too oily kind of just like in between it has really good full coverage highly recommend it it's only like nine bucks Milani has really good highlight as well these are $8.97 I really like them because they are so blinding I mean just if you add a little bit it gives you more of like that natural highlight but if you do build it up it is pretty blinding I personally really like 03 sun glow it's a really pretty shade obviously it just kind of depends on your skin tone color but I feel like any skin tone color can rock any of these four and like I said you can like slowly build it up if you want just more of like more natural because we all have like different tastes of makeup if you want a little more of like a natural look just add a little bit and if you want to go a little extra go all out there's nothing wrong with it you can definitely build it up and it will give you like that blinding highlight look okay moving on to covergirl oh my god i'm like screaming right now i cannot believe covergirl has my ulti favorite lip liner are you freaking kidding me this is the covergirl all day lip liner 205 caramel nude this is literally like my favorite lip liner of all times i was looking for this everywhere like all over my city and i just found it it's literally like the perfect nude they're so creamy and definitely definitely recommend this one okay and then covergirl has these there's like the cream and the demi mat i really like this ones which are the demi mat they have one oh 435 streaker that's like my favorite one i really recommend that one for more of like a natural look they have like the metallic ones that one i'm not really a huge fan but these are really nice they're not like super super matte they're a little bit which is why they're called demi mat but i really like these highly recommend them they're so good guys and super super inexpensive these are 842 and they're literally the best foundations out there you don't feel like you have anything in your face it kind of just feels more of like a natural coverage but it's medium to buildable so you can actually just get a little bit of coverage not too much and then you can get full coverage but i really do like these they don't have any flashback they last a long time especially like in this texas heat i don't know how it is where you live but here it gets pretty hot and your makeup like your foundation will stay a long period of time it's only 842 these are 344 so i've mentioned it before like the packaging is like not the best it's kind of like like a little bit like cheap but these blushes are really really good these are 344 like the application little brush is probably not the best but if you use like your regular um, blush brush highly recommend them super pigmented and they're only like four bucks all right guys covergirl has this lash primer this one is 694 it's a little bit pricey for like a lash primer but it really does get the job done remember the first time i tried it i kind of like didn't really like it but then i kept on trying it and i really like it you guys know that i 
my lashes are have very long lashes but they're always like facing down and this just kind of like helps it like keep a curl and make them a little bit longer not so much volume but definitely length covergirl has literally like my favorite brow pencil this one is kind of like a do for like the anastasia one but this one's only like seven bucks i usually get 710 soft brown they're out of it right now they don't have it they only have 705 if not i will pick up a backup one but this one is kind of like a do for the anastasia except it's like seven bucks girl super super inexpensive and then we have profusion but i've tried their naturals palette and the sultry and they are really good palettes guys for like 9.98 and you get 24 shadows they're super good pretty pigmented i think now they changed the packaging and made it a little bit smaller which is also great you can like carry with you take it with you everywhere but i really like these eyeshadow palettes super inexpensive and really good formula okay now we're gonna move on to nyx nyx has some really good soft matte lip creams these are 647 they are kind of like the same thing they're like matte but you don't feel like your lips are like over drying so nyx usually has like my favorite liquid liner there's this one like the shiny one and they have the matte one the matte one is the one that i usually use and it's 697 but except they don't have the matte one right now it just kind of depends if you want like a matte finish or a shiny finish i personally like the matte one i really like it because it has like a very fine tip so if you're a beginner with eyeliner or even if you're not a beginner it just makes like the application way easier because it has like a very fine tip so it's definitely one of my favorite ones except they don't freaking have it they're out of the matte one which is like my all-time favorite then we have the jumbo eye pencil the milk these are 447 this is really good you know how sometimes you wear like dark shadows and you want to open up your eyes a little bit to make them look brighter and bigger this one is really really good for that or if you can use it kind of like as a pre-base to make an eyeshadow color a little bit more vibrant and then we have this mascara which is new so nyx cosmetics actually sent me this mascara on pr and it is such a good mascara it's 1097 and it makes your lashes really long like that before and after picture really is true so i highly recommend that one really good and the nyx has also really good concealers these are 497 oh no 497 are color characters 597 for these it's just a little hard to like find your shade but once you find it these are really good concealers they don't have like any flashback you do get a little bit of product um not a lot as any other concealers because since they are like six bucks but i still really recommend them they're really good they have full coverage and you can basically take them with you everywhere just like on the go so nyx has a really good eyebrow gel the only thing about this one is kind of like a pomade but i really like it because it's in a tube so it doesn't dry out like a freaking pomade a pomade like after months it like starts to dry out and then you have to add like a oil to like smooth it out and stuff like that these are 6.97 guys and i really like them because they're in a tube you can take it everywhere with you so we're gonna move on to wet and wild wet and wild has really good bronzers the only thing is they do have like a little bit of shimmer so i would just use like a little bit of this not too much this shade in particular which is a ticket to brazil is a really pretty shade so i would just add like a little bit but i really like them they're only 3.93 super inexpensive also their highlights oh my god their highlights are freaking bomb 468 and their highlights are freaking stunning they're literally like very blinding but again if you add just a little bit we like more of like a settled highlight look but if you add a lot then it gives you like that blinding look but i really do like it because it's like five dollars like you can't beat that i think the most expensive one is this one which is like three dollars and then the rest are 93 cents so these are really good brushes like your foundation you can like multi-use for foundation or primer for eyeshadows and then this one is a flat top brush and then this one is the powder one so they're like three dollars and under and then also wet and wild has such good concealers these are 393 these are their photo focus concealers again they come with like a little amount of concealer but i mean it is four bucks but i really like it has pretty full coverage and then you can't forget about their foundations these are really good i like that they have like a decent variety they are um, pretty full coverage the only thing is they have like kind of like a scent to them but if you really don't mind that it kind of smells like sunscreen in a way but they're really good i really recommend them they're pretty full coverage they're good like for photography and obviously it's like medium to full coverage so you can like build it up if you want full coverage these are the matte liquid lipsticks these are 468 really recommend them they don't like over dry your lips or anything like that i've tried give me mocha which i don't know if they have it here probably not but they usually have give me mocha and it's a really pretty shade also the red one which is no it's one that it's kind of like scarlet those are like my top two favorite very long lasting they don't over dry your lips and they're pretty pigmented oh my god these are like my holy girls like i go way back with these i started when i first started makeup i started using this and i started with bare it all they're like different they're not like your typical um liquid lipstick these eyeshadow palettes are pretty bomb and they're only what five dollars 
for all these shadows that you get they're more like a little bit on the natural side so if you like natural or maybe you can't wear like a lot of makeup to school and you just like natural looks i really really recommend these these are really good okay we're gonna move on to good old elf elf like has such good products so since i couldn't find my nyx liquid liner and i really need a liquid liner i'm gonna take my elf liquid liner jet black this is a really good liquid liner it's only two bucks so if you're like a beginner at eyeliner and you're like dang i don't want to be practicing with like a ten dollar eyeliner you can practice with like a two dollar eyeliner um you won't be like okay i didn't spend a lot i can practice and if i take it off and put it back again it's okay it was only two bucks but i really like it super inexpensive and really good really like that one and then they also have really good brow pencils these are five dollars a little bit less expensive than the covergirl one but these i do notice they're a little bit flimsy but i mean for five bucks it's not bad you just have to be like very careful with it um if not it like breaks pretty easily but other than that i mean if you want like a pretty good eyebrow pencil you just have to be very careful with it i recommend this one their brushes dude their brushes these are adult a dollar and then like you have the fancier ones that are like the newest ones now three dollars three dollars and then i think they go up to like ten or twelve dollars over there but these are a dollar for your bronzer face foundation concealer eyeliner eye crease a brow and brush these are really good these are really good to like separate your eyelashes when they're like clumped up and then they don't have the putty primer but i'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the putty primer the putty primer is literally the best primer from elf if you can find the putty primer anywhere near you stock up on those because they are freaking bomb such good primers they don't have them here unfortunately and then these these are baked highlighters from elf this one is in moonlight pearls the best highlight ever you just have to kind of like scrape off the first layer to get to like the good stuff these are only four bucks i personally really like moonlight pearls again really really pretty okay and then moving on to positions formula they have like the best butter bronzers these are 13.23 i usually get light bronzer they have light bronzer um sunset bronzer and then also sun kiss bronze and deep bronzer i personally get light bronzer just because i use it to bronze my skin and then i go in with the darker color for my contour so that way like my face looks like it's kind of like just like bronze and then the contour just kind of like deepens everything and juices the cheekbones but highly recommend this one it smells so good and it's so buttery like if you touch it with your finger you'll be like what the heck what is that texture really good and then we also have the butter highlights um i don't think i've tried the butter blushes not that i remember but the highlights are really good you You'll be like shocked when you touch the texture it kind of just like melts into your finger so these are really good these are 9.83 i usually like to use these like underneath and then i go in and set it with a little bit more of like a regular highlight not so much like the butter consistency and it just like gives you like that blinding highlight look or like you can wear it whenever you want like that wet highlight look um for like a little bit more of like a natural highlight you can just grab with your finger rub it on like your cheekbones and you're good to go but highly recommend these all right we're gonna move on to l'oreal this is my autumn favorite foundation really good 1087 this is the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation wow this foundation is very long lasting very full coverage this is definitely if you are oily it will really keep you matte through most of the day and pretty full coverage i really like it they have a really good variety of shades which is something that i really like okay guys so now we're gonna move on to l'oreal so l'oreal has this really good mascara this is the telescopic one you can either get one of these two i personally really like this one which is the 60 percent longer lashes this one is 924 so you have like the carbon black and then you have the blackest black 935 and 910 i really like it because like if you grab this mascara and you like give it a double coat like on top of your lashes and then under your lashes it really does make them a little bit longer and then if you for example use the covergirl primer and then this one on top it'll really give your lashes more length and volume so really really like this it kind of just depends but i personally really like the gold one better okay guys and now for like makeup remover my brother in wife recommended me this one this is this um garnier skin active micellar foaming gel cleanser it's 696 oh my god last time i went over to their house and then i used this one to take off my makeup and it literally takes off everything like your eyeliner your waterproof mascara everything it kind of just like melts it down and then you just like rinse it with water i really love the equate makeup removal wipes see they have like the sensitive um ones it just depends if your skin is really sensitive but the ones that i like are these these are my favorite ones so you do get like the 40 um pre-moisten towels these are 348 and then you get the double pack which comes with 80 basically for only 597 so i think it'll be better to get like the 80 pack these are really good so i really like these or the costco brand ones so since i live close to a costco now i've been getting the costco ones but whenever i come 
uh, to Walmart I like to just restock on these when I'm running down on the Costco ones because these are actually really really good guys I like them they take off all your makeup they don't leave your face like red or like with like a, a oily residue so I really really like these and they're super inexpensive all right, now we're gonna move on to Rimmel. They do have these Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks by Rimmel. I really like this. There's Mocha, which is $7.20. They're $4.97. I really like Mocha, $7.20. Again, very long lasting. They don't over dry your lips and they feel so comfortable on the lips. I just hate that lipstick that you wear that's like liquid lipstick and you put it on your lips and then you feel like cracking. That is literally like the most annoying thing ever. Um, Stay Matte Powder, you have Transparent, Natural, Sand Store, and Creamy Natural. I would definitely go with Translucent since it's kind of like a universal color so I just keep you like matte throughout the day just apply a little bit because this one kind of is like applying a little bit more coverage so you don't want to look like too powdery and too cakey so I just apply a little bit to keep you like matte throughout the day oh my god yes Maybelline has some of my favorite concealers so my number one concealer from Maybelline well kind of like not even number one I have too many to like choose but one of my favorite concealers is by Maybelline this is instant age rewind 784 see the only thing I really don't like is this little applicator because because I feel like it's a little bit unsanitary. I feel like a lot of germs can build up there, but it's really good, really good coverage, and it doesn't feel like heavy underneath the eyes. It doesn't make you like crease and like in the fine lines and all that stuff. And then I'm pretty sure we all know of the NARS Creamy Rating Concealer. Well, this girl is a deep for the NARS Creamy Rating Concealer, and it's only. 598. This is by far one of my favorite concealers of all times. I love it. I usually always go with 10 or 15, but again, they're out of stock. Literally, the day that I come to get it, they don't have it. But I really recommend it. It's literally like a dupe for the NARS, except it's like six bucks. So if you like the NARS, so if you really like the NARS concealer, boy, girl, you in a budget this month or just in a budget in general, or like sometimes you don't even have to be in a budget. You just want to like save your money and stuff. I would definitely recommend this one. You're not going to regret it. Literally, you're going to thank me later because it's such a bomb freaking concealer. And then we have the Maybelline Fit Me. Okay, I haven't tried, where is it? I haven't tried the Dewy but i've tried the matte yeah i haven't tried the dewy but i've tried the matte and oh my god the matte foundation is freaking bomb these are only 598 guys 598 really good foundations they don't have any flashback and now we are going to move to mascara i always tell you guys about this mascara but because it's like my favorite one of my favorite ones the great lash mascara this is 444 and it's such a good mascara your lash is really really long i really like it you also have like the rocket one except this one is waterproof if you struggle with like keeping a curl in your lashes i would recommend going with like the waterproof formula because that just like helps uh keep the curl and for your lashes not to fall down i learned that the hard way but yeah the rocket or these are some really good um mascaras from maybelline all right, and then from also from Maybelline, if you're a person that likes eyeliner but cannot work with liquid liners, that was me at the beginning, like I just couldn't work with them. I really like these. These are um, the Lasting Drama. This is a gel eyeliner, and it even comes with the little brush already. Trust me, this little brush will help you a lot. That's how I started practicing with my eyeliner, and till this day, I can still use this eyeliner right now, and I won't hate it. I still like it. 788, it's like very creamy. Maybelline has these lipsticks, guys, which are my favorite. Okay, you guys will like notice throughout this video, I'm not a satin person, I'm more of a matte type of girl for lipsticks. So I really like their matte lipsticks. A Touch of Spice is by far one of my favorite shades from them. I have a many more. Where is Scarlet? Um, Siren and Scarlet is another one of my favorite red colors. And I have other colors that I love from this collection. They're again, $4.97, very creamy, and they smell really good. You just throw it in your purse to go. And if you guys have tried any of the products here at the drugstore that I haven't tried, please let me know in the comments down below because I wanna do a video where I test out a lot of new drugstore makeup. Okay, and this might not be makeup related, but I know getting your nails might be a little bit pricey. Press on nails are freaking amazing. I personally like the impress and yeah the impress brand are these right yeah the impress brand are really good they're 597 if you ever buy press on nails please only buy them at Walmart because if you go to CVS or Walgreens they're like nine bucks and they're 597 here they're really good I really like them oh I wanted to tell you guys ooh I just discovered this by Sally Hansen. If you <laughs> struggle with getting a tan, but these are $11.74. They're the Sally Hansen brush legs. You just like spray it on your legs, on your arms, and it gives you like an instant tan effect. It's kind of like makeup and it's really good. So I just wanted to like recommend it for you guys for like summer and stuff like that. You 
know, you never know. All right, we are out of Walmart and I have a quick little haul that I want to do with you guys. I'll show you guys all of my favorite products. If you are an OG, some of the products are still the same because they were like my holy girls, but I show the same products again because I know I have a lot of new people and you guys might not know about these products. Okay, so the first product that I got is the e.l.f. liquid liner and this liner is so good. Like I said, they didn't have the NYX. They did have the NYX, but the shiny one, I really like the matte one, so they didn't have that one. So I picked this one up because I feel like I haven't done a wing liner in so long. I miss it. So I was like, you know what? This will do the work for today. It's only two bugs i really like that it has like a felt tip and like i said if you're a beginner with eyeliner sometimes like oh my god the eyeliner was like 10 bucks girl i'm gonna be practicing with it because i'm gonna waste it all then you can totally practice with this one it was only like two bucks so it's really good if you're a beginner at eyeliner or if you're just in a crisis like me for today okay then i picked up my holy grail lip liner oh my god one pita chip sent me this lip liner because i couldn't find it anywhere trust me i went to target walmart walgreens cvs everywhere you can think and i couldn't find this lip liner so cover girl has sent it to me in the pr package and they sent me two so i went through those two and then i was like oh my god guys i'm like ready now and i can't find it if you guys know where to find it let me know and then a pita chip sent me a lip liner a couple of weeks ago it is literally the perfect shade of nude i love it and last but not least i picked up my salon perfect 614 lashes like i'm telling you guys these are literally like eyelash extensions they are so bomb i personally really like them they look like you have lashes on but not too dramatic like you know how sometimes you probably go to work or you go to school and you want to look good but a little bit more like on the natural side or sometimes you don't want to wear like the whole full glam lashes then i totally recommend these lashes because they're so bomb i just like can't get over it. and they have a very thin band so again if you're like a beginner with lashes these are great to start off with like they might feel a little bit long but other than that you're not gonna feel like you have them on because they have such a thin band and they're super inexpensive let me see how much these were let me tell you okay so the lashes were 844 for what five pairs oh that's actually not bad and then 5.92 for the lip liner and two dollars for the liquid liner that's basically all that i picked up if you guys have any of your favorite drugstore products please 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 in the comments down below let me know your holy grail drugstore products because i want to go to the drugstore i really want to go and buy a lot of new products new products that were just released and new products to me and i want to put them to the test that's what i want to do so let me know in the comments down below your favorite drugstore holy girl products because i want to go shopping girl it gives me an excuse to go shopping and film a video for you guys so yeah that is basically it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe so you can part of the pdh family don't forget to turn your post notifications hit the little bell so you can notify the next time i upload a new video and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys